five question number two uh, describe free falling body so we have the objects if you release objects on the rest the direction of the objects moving to the downward so this is the uh, sample of a free body diagram and the free poly body diagram is a vertical motion this is vertical meaning on the let's say the y directions and the, the objects the first is a vertical and the second is direction is always downward and next accelerate by the gravitation g 9.8 at one meter per uh, second and, and so the situation of the activity here is a uh, uh, without air resistance right so we have uh, this is a characteristic how you can uh, describe the free uh, falling body continue to the next question uh, we have a uh, figure one graph velocity time uh, times t and number a this means the time and acceleration at the point p so at the point p here so what is the acceleration and what is the time taken at the point p here right so because this is the graph v versus t velocity versus time t if you calculate the gradient of the graph is equal to acceleration right so to find the acceleration here you uh, find the value of the gradient of the graph so here right, the, the, the symbol of gradient is uh, m is equal to acceleration is equal to uh, the gradient of the graph so you can use the the point here this is v0 and the point here we have a 12 v this is initial v initial right v initial sorry v final minus v initial divided by the time here the time t here is equal to yes here no we don't have the value of the um value of t here okay but this is the straight line so meaning we can use the yeah we can use the uh triangle here right because this is straight line from the positive to the negative graph so many here so we can find the value of the t final minus t initial so you can use the v final here we have a v final here is a negative a v initial we have a so now we have a minus this is minus and this is uh, let's see this is minus right so we, we here we have a 12 this minus and the t initial we have uh, from stop 22 here and the t final we have a uh, 40 right 40 this is 20 so if you calculate the uh, acceleration here so we have a negative value of acceleration negative 1.1 meter per second square Okay, this is for a acceleration uh, the next question uh, oh, this is acceleration so what is the time t so because this is 22 so the t here so what is the value of the t here at the point p so we can use the equation linear motion equation uh, v is equal to uh, u plus a t calculate the t because v final here is equal to v final here is equal to at the point p v is equal to zero initial u is equal to initial u is equal to 12 and the acceleration from the answer number uh, the first uh, the first step is a uh, negative 1.11 right and you can find the value of the t so if you have a clue so t is 10.8 meter per second at the point p here is a 
10.8. So now the total P here, total P here, so the total P from start motion of the object is a, because we have 22 here, so 22 so plus 10.8, right? So this is the time taken here, right? Time. So we have a 32.8 second, right? This is number one. Next question is total number two. Is the total distance traveled by the train is less than equal or greater than total displacement? Meaning here you, uh, question number two asks you to differentiate between the total distance. Okay, total distance and total, right here, this is total, eh? total uh, displacement, right, total distance displacement. So if you calculate the total distance here, total distance meaning the, the actual uh, distance eh? for the object start from zero to the, until to the uh, time 55 second. So meaning here, you because graph v versus t the distance you can find the value of the the area under the graph value so the both of the the first part let's say the first part a the second part b is a, a trapezium so you can use the for the first part so we have a, a here so half is uh p here the point p is from the answer number one is 32 right 32.8 yeah the point here so this is a 32.8 right minus uh, the distance here is a 22 minus 10 is a um, 12 right and the time of high here is a 12 this is first part plus this is for the distance, right? For the distance here, yeah? right? Calculation. So we have another uh, trapezium here. We have half because the distance consider not the consider the all well, the value here is positive, right? Because distance is a, a scalar quantity. So we have um, that uh, here is a distance fifty five. Okay, so right here fifty. 5 minus 30 32.8 right and minus here is a 43 the distance here is 43 minus 40 is a 3 and the time the high here is a 8 so this is the distance and the second part so I write here for the displacement we have a so I write here right for the displacement so right here for the displacement and we have uh, the uh, area under the graph but you must consider the value of the positive and negative so here we have uh, the first part for a is a uh, half so we have a uh, 32.8 minus 12 distance here is a uh, 12 and the high is a uh, 12 and plus half also trapezium we have a uh, the distance here is a same we have a 55 minus 32.8 so minus here we have a negative 8 you must use the because displacement uh, is a vector quantity so consider the negative value and high here is a negative eight. Uh, sorry, this is a three. No, no, this is a three, right? Uh, three. This is negative eight. So now, if you calculate the value of the the value of the um, distance, uh, this is is equal to. Uh, three six nine point six meter, and right? for the displacement is equal to one six 
7.6 meter. So meaning here, uh, the distance is distance greater than displacement because of for the displacement you must consider the negative value for the v is negative 8 here okay class continue to the question number c a javelin is thrown speed 50 meter per sec 55 meter per second at the angle 42 degree with the horizontal calculate velocity of javelin after 5 seconds so if you draw the uh, situation uh, given by the question so we have uh, let's say this is a uh, javelin which is the initial fix u55 meter per second and uh, thrown upward in the horizontal and this is the path of the motion of the javelin and let's say this is a ground surface right so this is ground surface the angle uh, given is equal to 42 right so the question let's say uh, after 5 seconds let's say this is uh, after 5 seconds so still we have a u and we have a direction of the ui and here we have a ux okay class the question asks you uh, what is the velocity here so what is the velocity at the 5 second uh, it's u5 here so to calculate u5 if i draw the the diagram this is uh, sorry u5 so we have a uy and we have a ux that's the angle here theta uh, let's say this not the angle just because you can use the Pythagoras here, let's say you have a this is ux, this is uy, three, uy. So to calculate the us, you can use the Pythagoras. You add five second uy square plus ux square. Now you must find the value of the uy and u x to calculate the u at the 5 second uh, the first thing is uh, for the u x because direction or oh, sorry the velocity u x is always constant so we need if you use uh, this is y and this is x so here if you resolve the u x exists or u x here is 55 cos 45 so meaning here for the ux here is equal to 55 cos 55 sorry 45 degree this is is equal to um 40.9 okay so meaning this is for the ux ux at any point okay, at the point on the path of the motion of the object is always constant 40.9 meter per second the problem is a uh, ui at the five second here so to calculate the ui ui here you can use the equation uh, vy is equal to ui minus g <coughs> sorry dt and the initial u here the initial u here this is a uh, ui Y, so you can use this is ui here 55 okay so this is ui opposite here we have a 55 sign opposite right so vy here ui here 40 45 degree and g constant 9.81 and at the time t 5 second eh? right 5 seconds so you can find the value of the vy here is a negative 12.2 meter per second so now you can find the value of the ui here and now you have also have the value of the ux so you can put the value ui and the ux in the equation you can find the value of the u at the after 5 second this is is equal to 42.7 meter per second right and 
velocity. Yeah. Okay.